A major reshuffle of top military brass was announced today with President Moon appointing a general from the Air Force to lead the Joint Chiefs of Staff. If everything goes as planned, then both South Korea's Defense Ministry and the Joint Chiefs will be headed by reformers from branches other than the Army, which has long had the strongest voice in the armed forces. Kim Yeonbin reports. President Moon Jae-in has appointed Air Force Chief General Chung kyung Tu as a new chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff in a major military reshuffle that includes six other key appointments. The government has appointed a new chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff, a chairman of the Army and Air Force, a deputy commander of Combined Forces Command, and three Army Corps commanders. The personal changes was made to better counter North Korea's nuclear and missile threats, as well as to initiate military reform. The defense ministry said General Chung was selected as a candidate suitable to reform the armed forces after taking into account his background in combined and joint operations. Experts say the major reshuffle is a reflection of the president's determination to reform a military hierarchy traditionally dominated by the army. For the first time, both the defense minister and the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff are from the Navy and Air Force. For the past 40 years, the military focused on the army and its conventional forces, so it was difficult to deal with North Korea's nuclear missile threats. It's better to have the Navy and Air Force in charge of countering those threats and initiate the government plans for military reform. General Chung's appointment was approved by the cabinet on Tuesday, and the National Assembly will soon schedule a confirmation hearing. If approved, Chung will replace the current chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Army General Lee Sun Jin, and will become the first JCS chairman from the Air Force in 23 years. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.